What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As always, this is Gregor Outdoors. I appreciate every single one of you guys being here again with me today. As you could tell uh, by the thumbnail and today's uh, title of the video, we're kind of going to go over the things that uh, that we got for this coming waterfowl season that are new to me, uh, may not be new to you, but they're new to me for this upcoming season. Hopefully it'll make things a little bit better for us, myself, Sam, and whoever, my, you know, my daughter, if she comes with me, but... If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn it from red to gray, turn on those bell notifications. And if you are not following us on Instagram, check that banner down below on the screen. Go follow us on Instagram. Link will also be down in the description. And everything we're going to talk about today is going to be down in the description as well if you guys want to go check it out. Um, if you want anything like this hat here or uh, the two hats you see on the screen right here, or the t-shirts that I have available, which will be on the screen as well. Let me know down in the description or hit me up on Instagram or on Facebook at Gregor Outdoors. And let me know if you're interested. We only have a few t-shirts left. I want to say we have one, um, one t-shirt in each size variety, medium, large, extra large, 2X. I might have two extra large uh, shirts left. Let me know though, yeah, uh, help support the channel. If you haven't heard yet, YouTube is tracking down on the outdoor industry and outdoor channels like mine and like so many others of the top creators. Uh, I'm not in the same position that a lot of them uh, are in where a lot of their channels are getting demonetized. If you know Seek One, Flare, Mindak, Bobby Guy, uh, a lot of the big outdoor channels out there are getting demonetized because of hunting. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, help us out, and hit me up. Let me know if you guys want to help support the channel and buy some of this merchandise that helps me. Helps me go on the trip like we're going to be doing in, at the end of the week, going to the, uh, South Dakota for their waterfowl opener. So just stand by for that. But like, like, like I said, please, if you guys want to help support the channel, buy some hats like this, buy some t-shirts, uh, hit me up on those social media channels. Anyways, let's get into it. Uh, I want to go, go over... We'll start with the decoy side of what we purchase for this upcoming season. Um, now, Mojo, I am part of the Mojo uh, promotional staff, so I get a discount for purchasing those items, so I'm going to support those. First, um, I have, as far as Mojo is concerned, we have three... Um, Three of the standard Mojo, uh, I want to say Baby Duck. Uh, here's here's one of them right here. Here is one of the the older Mojo style. It's the hard body. It's not the Elite series, um, but they they work great. Um, they're a little bit loud, and and in my opinion, uh, they are a little bit loud in my opinion, but they wor they work just fine. Uh, but this season we did upgrade to the Mojo Elite receiver. And the remote. Um, if you guys didn't know, if you guys didn't know from this past season, I did purchase um, the uh, receiver and remote from 12 Volt Monster. I do not recommend. No offense to that company; it's a great company. But uh, in my experience using it last year, the range uh, was not very good. Maybe five or ten yards, and then if that, sometimes it was very spotty. But from what I've seen so far with the Mojo. Uh, receivers and the remote they work great I upgraded all the uh, motion decoys this year uh, to those receivers and that remote system so in the older uh, mojos we're gonna be using those mojo elite receivers and uh, the remotes themselves I did upgrade um, with a the new elite teal mojo um, really the main difference Really the main difference between the Elite and the, the older just regular teal decoy is A, the wing. Um, B, it is a soft body uh, spinner so it, it's not going to be producing any, any noise. And we're able to uh, hook up with the Elite remote with a little USB connection on the inside and we'll be able to you know, control all of our motion decoys with one remote so that'll be great for this year. Um, <coughs> That being said, uh, we also uh, I also went and purchased some more of the Ripplers. Uh, in my opinion, the Mojo Rippler uh, is one of the best motion decoys out there. In California here, we're not allowed to use spinning weed decoys until December 1st every year. Not a big deal. We have stuff like this. We have jerk strings. 
But uh, as far as the Ripplers are concerned, this Butt Up Rippler is the best one that Mojo has. I also have two Mallard Ripplers. Um, I had some issues with them last year, but I don't think they produce as much ripple and as much motion on the water as these Butt Up ones do. So go check those out. Like I said, everything will be linked down below in the descriptions. So you guys can check it out yourself. And then uh, we also, I also did purchase teal decoys for this year. These are the Avian X uh, Blue Wing. Uh, teal decoys and I also purchased another set of Avian X green wing decoys I, I just like the quality of the the Avian X decoys in general I was hoping to get some uh, mallard decoys in this year but they have been out of stock everywhere uh, as uh, you know Avian X is a, is a great brand a great decoy company so as always you know they're gonna they're gonna have limited stock just about everywhere so uh, that being said uh, I have them rigged up on Texas rigs that I made myself. If you are interested in how to do that, check that video link up here. Uh, see how I make my own Texas rig decoys. It's cheap. Uh, and I, I personally believe that the quality is better because I'm doing it myself. I, I set it up the way I wanted it to get done. So, Here are some tangle free decoys that I purchased this year. Uh, this is the Mallard uh, decoy. This is the Drake Mallard, and then this is the Hen Mallard. Um, I think, uh, and then I also purchased some uh, Cinnamon Teal decoys. That's the Drake, and here is the Hen. Um, honestly, probably didn't need the, the Cinnamon decoys, but I just thought they were cool and they were pretty cheap. Uh, Tangle Free offers a very generous uh, military and veteran discount. So if you are a, a military veteran, uh, first responder, uh, any, any of those categories, go check out Tangle Free. Uh, there is a link uh, on the website for military first responders and for a discount through them. So go check them out. Like I said, I probably didn't need the, the teal decoys, but I thought they were cool. Something to add. Uh, we did get into a couple cinnamon teal uh birds last year which are at the taxidermist right now that'll be another video you guys will see in the future uh my opinion on these tangle free decoys is the feather detail is incredible um as far as i'm like i said this is only i want to say this is the fourth year that i've been waterfowl hunting and these decoys look incredible the only issue i think we might run into is the weight uh they're a little heavy um like the pintail decoys like the pintail decoys through uh tangle free those ones i was not impressed with the sprig on the pintail decoys on three of the four drakes that i got last year all broke within the first hunt so that was kind of terrible but um anyways as far as those th that's what we got as far as decoys um and then obviously we painted some old northern flight decoys to make them look like coots and then, like I said, we have the Ripplers. We have four total Ripplers now, two Butt Up, two Mallard Ripplers. And like I said, the Mallard Ripple, the Butt Up Ripplers, I believe, are the ones that produce the most motion. But um, as far as blind bags are concerned, this is, as far as blind, blind bags are concerned, I did upgrade my blind bag this year. Instead of using an actual blind bag, I'm going to be using a backpack um i looked up and did some research on backpacks and i bought the tangle free backpack we'll kind of go over and, and show you guys what that looks like real quick so this is the tangle free backpack it comes with three compartments on the front um it comes with a side compartment for uh drinks there's one on each side here um, what I really liked about this and when I looked at the reviews online the reason I purchased it is number one it's got little game game totes on here to put your birds on and number two if you're hunting in you know dense um, if you're hunting in timber you can put this this backpack on a tree and wrap it around a tree tree and then you're not putting any or making any damage to the trees not hurting any trees um, and there's one on the top here and one on the bottom like you saw and on the inside this thing on the inside has got a ton of storage you got a dry storage here I wouldn't necessarily probably put a phone in or something like that maybe keys or uh, I wouldn't put anything valuable in there but there is plenty of room on the inside of this bag so that's why I purchased that that bag uh, like I said I think it's gonna be 
really useful this year. Uh, being able to carry that in and not have it in our decoy sled or an, in a sled in general. That way we're not having to, you know, carry extra stuff in like we were in years past. We'll be able to have it on our back and it just kind of takes the stress off of the, the shoulders and everything. So um, now we'll get into concealment. Uh, I have bought some Kuyu camo and then obviously I have some Blades camo but as far as camo clothing is concerned we're really not going to uh, purchase anything special this year. I am going to have some t-shirts coming out for waterfowl season so stay tuned for that. I'll post those up on Instagram that's why you guys need to go follow us. Um, and as far as blinds are concerned I did purchase a 360 solo blind uh, in the marsh design from Tangle Free and then Sam and I, my buddy that you guys have seen hunting with me in uh, other episodes, we did each buy a Tangle Free panel blind and we are going to be getting those rigged up with uh, Jay Stern, uh, Marsh, uh, you know the raffia grass. Uh, I did get the entire 360 blind. Um, put together and that is all brushed up i'll show you guys what that looks like here in a minute i'll get everything taken care of and kind of set that up and show you guys what that looks like the panel blinds are not um grassed up yet you know so that'll that'll probably be in a future video but we did purchase those uh, i'll probably do another video in you know probably a couple of weeks after we get back from south dakota to show you guys how i i kind of brush those up we're going to use the raffia grass and then we're also going to use some natural vegetation to kind of blend everything in together um but my first impression so far is these blinds are, they look great. The reason we went with the panel blinds and the 360 blind is because the blinds that we did want, uh, we were looking at the AVNX A-frame blind and it's out of stock everywhere. We probably could have gone with the Rogers A-frame blind, but uh, we went with the Tango Free blinds instead. They were on sale for Labor Day, so we had decided to purchase them. So like I said, we'll see how they work for this season. Um, it wasn't a break the bank kind of thing, so it's affordable for everybody. All that, like I said, everything will be linked down below in the description if you guys want to check it out. Uh, I'm going to get the 360 blinds you know, put together real quick, and I'll show you guys what that looks like brushed up, and uh, so we'll see you in a second. All right, everybody, so we got the 360 blind uh, set up. I'm going to show you guys what that looks like real quick. Uh, like I said, it didn't it didn't take very long. It's just a pain in the butt because of how everything's set up. But uh, we'll do, I'll show you guys how this looks. All right, here is the 360 blind itself. Like I said, uh, we got it we got it all uh, brushed in pretty well. Uh, all I did was really I looped the raffia grass in through these straps that that come on the blind, and then just kind of ran them through the rest of the straps, and I let the bottom hang out a little bit we do need to brush it in with some natural vegetation but that's what it looks like brushed up it's like this around the entire area this is what it looks like on the inside it might be a little dark let's see it does come with pockets here um let's see there's a pocket here and then another pocket here and it does have a dog it has a dog door down here as well so if uh we want to take the dog out then um you know there's a dog door so he can sit there and watch out but overall on the inside this is what the inside looks like with me in there honestly there's enough room for another person uh if you're comfortable with that um, it would probably be something good for me and my daughter to be out in so we're not use, having to use a whole panel blind. Uh, the panel blind is more for like three or four people. I think you can fit three or four in, in that panel blind itself and be pretty comfortable. But with this solo blind, you could probably fit me, my daughter, the dog possibly, and then a couple chairs and then have enough room for us to still move around and shoot and everything. So um, that'll, it'll be interesting to see how this goes with these blinds this year. I'll give you guys my honest review at the end of the season about what I think about these blinds. Like I said, I, I have no skin in the game. I do get a discount for being military, but uh, I'm not represented by Tangle Free. I'm not sponsored by Tangle Free, so I'll give you guys my honest opinion. But even if I was, uh, I would... I, I would want to give you guys my honest opinion on everything that I use. Like I said, based off of the last two years, I've used AVNX decoys, and I honestly can say they're probably the best on the market. In my opinion, they're lightweight. They hold the color and everything great. So we'll see how this season goes. Um, like I said, stay tuned. We're getting ready to head up to South Dakota in four days uh, for their waterfowl opener on the 25th. So stay tuned for those videos. Like I said, uh, 
help me out hit that subscribe button and turn it from red to gray turn on those bell notifications hit that thumbs up button uh like the video help us out and if you're not following me already on instagram check out the banner down below follow us on instagram let me know if you guys are interested in hats and t-shirts like i said i still have a few uh, there's a very few amount available and we're getting ready to get another design to come out so help us out support the channel like i said the hunting and fishing videos on youtube are under attack like I said, as always, I appreciate every single one of you. And until next time, stay tuned. Better, Bigger things are coming. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. See you.